Hey y'all, so I'm starting a new project um, using this drivetrain I built from a month ago or so. And uh, the way I'm going to use it is uh, using that old lawnmower right there. And I'm going to put a pulley on there, pulley on here, weld a sprocket onto that wheel. That one actually from a kid's bike. And then um, modify the frame for it to accept that motor. So yeah. So I've liberated the motor from the mower deck. This is a big old hole. There's the blade. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to mount this. I'm thinking either I'll do it in the back. This thing's kind of small anyway. So. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. Cut it right. Yeah, I'll move it right there. I'll cut all these extra panels off and I'll paint it. So I'll cut it off there and there. Reweld it about an inch up. Then I'll cut off that cross member because that's just getting in the way. Alright. So let's do that. Here's a little glimpse of what she's going to look like. Uh, it's going to be pretty ridiculous. I might need to stretch the frame out. Well, I'm definitely going to bend those bars back or cut them off and weld new ones on because that looks kind of funky. Yeah, it seems to take up a lot of room. But uh, I'm going to put another motor on there and see how that looks because I might just use another motor instead of this one. So let me see. Well, unfortunately... <laughs> I don't think that'll work out. As much as I wish it would, I don't think it will. Maybe another time. Alright, so uh, on the mini bike, I decided to go for um, a different styling change. Uh, I decided to kind of go for like a more vintage taco bike kind of look. Uh, so I cut off the support arm here. I cut off that whole frame right there and I welded on um, the actually th that's part of the handle um, of the lawnmower I just cut it and then I welded it back together and I'll, now I'm going to paint that up and stuff but uh yeah it's all welded up and it's one piece so that's cool and uh now I gotta figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of the frame because it is not very sturdy right now so um, I'll probably get I'll probably try to either reuse that piece weld it on back actually I'm not doing that that looks like crap so I could try to kinda do that except I don't really like that so I think I'll st stick with the wide frame maybe I'll use a piece of angle iron and I'll have them kinda funneled down into that but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll get back to him what I come up with. And, uh, I'm just kind of thinking of stuff I'm going to do here. Um, I think I'm going to do, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these handlebars or if I'm going to go in and do, like, chopper handlebars or, yeah, kind of like, instead of my hands being like that, they'll be like that. But, uh, we'll see as the money flow goes, just to, see what I end up with. I also want to keep some of this pipes in case I want to make more exhaust manifolds and stuff like that. So uh, I'll get back to you when I come up with the design for uh, for supporting the bike. Bruh. Yep, so here she is all welded up. Oh. <laughs> Sweet Jeep, bro. 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 Yeah, no. Too bad. And uh, so here's my shitty welds right there. Right in there. I'm sure with any weight on them, they'll snap. So uh, I'll break them while I'm going 20 miles an hour. So uh, that's all I got for you today.